Now, there's been a lot of talk about that polar vortex, but the responsible for next week's cold, let's bring in meteorologist Michael Barron to help us understand and explain why. Michael. Yeah, Jerry, that polar vortex just seems to be something that creeps up every winter, bringing us those big blasts of cold air. Take a look at this. This is the temperature map as we head toward next week. Single digit temperatures expected here in Ohio. And again, we're watching that polar vortex for that big blast of cold air to come our way. So let's talk about what the polar vortex actually is. The polar vortex always up at the North and South Pole. It's basically a big area of cold air confined by the spinning jet stream. When we have a strong jet stream, that cold air stays up to the north. When that jet stream weakens, we see those big spikes of cold air dip down toward the south. So again, when these polar vortex outbreaks come through, that's what we're looking for a piece of that cold air slides off. We see temperatures below average, well below typically happens about every other year. So what's our forecast heading into next week? Well, here's the upper level winds. Take a look at the jet stream. Those are those big areas of those brighter colors. You can see a lot of waviness in that pattern. So we're kind of getting that broken up pattern of that jet stream. So that cold air coming down as we head into next week, that big Arctic blast. Here's the forecast temperatures out there. We head into the weekend. We start to see a little bit of that cold slide our way. But as soon as we get into next week, here comes that big blast of cold air. And again, we're looking at single digits and possibly those overnight temperatures below zero guys.